Hi, Georgia. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm pretty good. Good. It's, isn't it so hot today? Like, it's pretty hot. Yeah. We're not even used to this, like... Really? Hot. Yeah, like, it's getting hotter <laughs> and hotter every year, like... Wow. Yeah. Um, how are you enjoying the, your your stay in Japan? It's, it's your so first good. Time, right? It's so good. I yeah. love Tokyo. Yeah, really cool city. Mm. I didn't exp it's like blew my expectations. Yeah, mm. much more tropical than mm. I imagined it. <laughs> <laughs> and like, so you're in like the high street, and but you can hear like cicadas or crickets. You can mm -hmm. hear all the bugs. So yeah. it feels like you're in nature. Yeah, mm -hmm. even in the middle of the city. Where did you visit in Tokyo? Um, sh well, I just walked around Shibuya mm -hmm. um, and up to um, Harajuku. And today I visit the shrine in Harajuku. Mm -hmm. um, Meiji. Was, uh, yeah, Meiji. Yeah. Um, that was really cool. Okay. So uh, you are based in London, right? Mm -hmm. And um, could you like tell us a little bit about like the scene that you are in right now? Like yeah. what, what kind of like, uh, you know, music is going on and like what kind of like venues you hang out or like yeah. what kind of people you hang out with yeah, yeah. um so um yeah i guess the scene uh it, it, we don't really think of it as, as a scene because they're just mm -hmm. our mates really but um it's really diverse um there's lots of different styles of music going on um and there is a couple of venues in london one in particular which is called the windmill mm -hmm. um which is really good at representing loads of diverse music um the booker who runs it mm -hmm. will let anyone play and right. uh, the more experimental the better it's a really friendly place and you can always guarantee going there and hearing something new so i think that's where like that's what everyone who i play with like black country black midi all these people from london this is the one thing we kind of have in common is starting off at this venue so like mm. it's imp it was an important place yeah right so what was the best music ex experience in these days? Um, in London? Yeah. Hmm. Let me think. Should we say like this year? Like, um, I would or say like this, overall? This overall. year. Let me think. Well, there's not <laughs> been... In COVID, there was like not so much. Sure, sure. I think... Um, well, that's a really good question. Um, record Recording... Um, this album I did with Black Country New mm -hmm. Road was pretty special because uh, we went away um, to uh, the Isle of Wight for two weeks mm -hmm. and um, it was really nice and yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. But also like uh, finishing the album, the Jockstrap album, this year was kind of like a momentous thing to happen. Mm -hmm. um, it was like a long time coming. We worked really hard for like three years. So when we went to get it mastered and it was finally done, nice. it was so good. Mm -hmm. So you have uh, an album coming up, mm -hmm. right? Uh, should we play a song from that album? Yeah, Can we do, do that? Yeah, cool. go for it. any like skills like unique skills that like i mean like mm. you play instruments and you create music of course but other than that like do you have any skills that skills or like things you can do that like other people usually cannot do <laughs> it's kind of a weird question but yeah to know you to know about you i guess okay yeah oh let me think well i think i'm quite lucky right you know some people i, I don't know i feel like i've been really lucky in life it's important yeah yeah i don't even know if i if it's, it's, I don't believe in fate, I don't think, but it's like, I think that's one thing. Give us examples. Like. <laughs> um, I think it's really lucky that I was able to like learn the violin and um, was in the right place at the right time, and then I got into Guildhall, like, uh, and then I met Taylor, and then I'm like, I'm in Japan, like, yeah. Any other talents or skills? 
Um, I don't know, like, again, the lucky thing. Uh, I can pick up some things really quickly. Right. Like roller skating, I picked up really quickly. Nice. And skiing, I picked up really quickly. And ice skating, so <laughs> those things. <laughs> Although I'm not very good at running. So I didn't, I didn't um, pick it up quickly. Right. Do you have, like you mentioned, like uh, ski and uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> roller, roller skating, skating. yeah. Uh, do you have any, like, uh, hobbies or like things like that you like to do other than mm-hmm. outside of like music. Music, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, I like to do yoga. Nice. I don't always do it. I don't always like practice as much as I sh- should, mm-hmm. but I do really like it. And um, that would be probably my main hobby. I like to read lots. Um, again, I go through phases where I like, read loads and then I don't. Um, I like playing my Switch. Nice. <laughs> you, 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 you're carrying your, um, uh, your, your bag is, um... It's a, yeah, it's a Nintendo <laughs> bag. Nintendo bag, yeah. Yeah, so I wanted to visit the Nintendo shop, which I did. Nice. I got some Animal Crossing, uh, Animal merch. Crossing, yeah. yeah, that's my game. Nice. Mm-hmm. The name Jockstrap, yeah. right? Like, I guess everyone asks you like where that where it comes from. But yeah. <laughs> I guess can I ask you that question? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> so um, the band name kind of came before the band, mm-hmm. the project, um, and I am. Um, I think that the band names of like heavy metal bands are usually really really good. Right. So like Iron Maiden and Slipknot, and there's this sort of. Uh, I know Jockstrap's different, but I thought that maybe Jockstrap could be a heavy metal name, a band name. So um, that's why I was drawn to it. Also, like uh, the, the 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 imagery that it uh, um, has with it, that sort of like towing the line of extreme and erotic. Um, I like. I'm drawn to that sort of imagery. Right. Um, and um, yeah. So it, and it's and it's yeah. It doesn't really like represent what the music is, and, and that's mm-hmm. caused me. Can you name like songs that you've been like listening to recently, you know, like that you like or maybe that that are like influencing your style or like, mm-hmm. I mean, you just mentioned like a couple of songs that like mm-hmm. influenced your production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you... More recently. Yeah. Or like, do you have any like favorite songs that yeah. like... Yeah. So um, I was I was asked this earlier. Um, that last Rosalia album that came out was so good. Right. I really um, like that. And... I like I love how she fuses um, like traditional song writing and like uh, of where she's from and like the music mm-hmm. of where she's from with really fresh production. Yeah. But I was like mostly inspired by her like visuals and what how she chose to like present the project. I thought that was like really neat. Um, and then musically, um, other new stuff. Oh yeah, there's this um, American. Uh, like electronic song uh, music songwriter called Grace Ives that mm-hmm. I recently checked out her album and uh, that was really cool that was really that was kind of like Kate Bushy but also just like really nice sounds right. yeah so you're in also Black Country New Road mm-hmm, mm-hmm. another band mm-hmm. and there's more people in the band and mm-hmm. sometimes it's hard to create something together with a, such a lot of people mm-hmm. and how, how is it like like do you guys communicate a lot or yeah yeah it's um we've it should be difficult mm-hmm. but we make it quite easy mm-hmm. um we it's a very like democratic process mm-hmm. and um everyone gets to hear the ideas and uh if four people like it and two people don't well then we go with the that idea which mm-hmm. four people liked um so in a way the decision making is quite um democratic and mm-hmm we follow that through um yeah. and uh it's done in a rehearsal room yeah so we're constantly playing and trying things out which is different to jockstrap because we mm-hmm. only play it live when we finished it completely really we so um those processes are kind of swapped mm-hmm. around here yeah. right one last question mm-hmm. uh do you have any musicians that you want to collaborate with mm. in the future um, so 
we get asked this question quite a bit right. and um, we both like doom music like like droney guitar mm -hmm. and music so maybe sun sun o i think you i think you just call them sun um and they're three piece like doom band mm -hmm. and maybe that would be a cool collaboration i don't know how it would work because me and taylor move through lots of harmony when we in our songs or uh, yeah or a rapper like a american female rapper would be cool or um yeah because we both really like rap music and yeah. um taylor's great at like producing for beats for people mm -hmm. the, the things that we've kind of done so far have just like really really worked yeah Right then. You. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks so much. That was great. Fantastic yeah. questions. Well, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. You can yeah. enjoy your tour. Thank you. Yeah, yeah and hopefully it'll be back. And uh, we're excited to listen to your album. Yeah. Up in September, right? Yeah, September. Yeah, it's nice.